Hi viewers, welcome to the next YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create this type of base plate connection in Tesla structures with this PDF example. I will provide this PDF example link in the description. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Double click on this Tesla structures icon to open the software. To make sure before opening the software, you should select the internet connection. Now select the environment India and role steel detailing and the confirmation this is the education version so let's take education and click on open click on new click on create click on s and maximize this window click on here now before going to create column we're going to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines Click on create and OK, OK. Now go to the steel and select this column and click on here at grid and section point to create a column. Right click on mouse interrupt. Use the shortcut control 4 for render view. Double click on this column. Now I'm going to change the bottom level 0. Click on modify. In our example, we have column with ISMB 400. So by default we have ISMB 400, but we need to check the orientation. So click on window and select this view list and select this planet 0 and click on this arrow to open, top view, plan view. You can see currently we have I section like this vertically. The orientation in this example we have horizontal orientation, so we need to rotate this column. So under the position rotation option, make it 90 degrees. Now click on modify and close it. Now click on window and select this 3D view. You can see now we have column like this. Now coming to see the level, column height also we have 5000. By default we have 5000. So no need to worry about it. So now we're going to create base plate at this location. So you can use the shortcut Control F to open the application components window, or you can directly click on here to open this application components window. Now in search bar type base base plate in our example we have this type of base plate so we can select this base plate type base plate 1042 select it you can see in the prompt bar command bar you can see pick part we need to select this column and next pick the position so we need to click on here at gradient section point to create a base plate now we have base plate like this now right click on mouse interrupt to exit the command now close this window you can see now we have like this, click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. Use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here and use the control and mouse middle button or scroll button to rotate like this. Okay, currently we have this shaded view, now we going to make it render view for this base plate application component. So use the shortcut shift to 4 for component render view. For part, use the control 4 for part and for component use the shortcut shift to 4 right click almost interrupt now we want to change this base plate according to our example like this so double click on this base plate to open component property window now go to parts tab in parts you can enter the thickness of this plate so in our example we have plate thickness here 16 millimeter so we're going to change the thickness 16 millimeter and click on modify to see the result here you can see now this plate base thickness should be 16 millimeter now go to parameters there is no change in this tab so go to general there is no change in it so go to anchor tab in anchors you can change the anchor rod size and dimensions and everything according to our design information in our example we have 20 millimeter diameter anchor rod and tolerance 3 millimeter that means the whole size should be 23 millimeter now we're going to enter here rod profile 20 millimeter. So click on here and we need to click on this circular section. So click on it, plus symbol and select this rod and enter here 20 millimeter. Then click on apply OK. Similarly, we want to change the nut and washer profile also. Before that, we are going to click on modify. You can see currently we don't have any anchor to show the anchor in model. You need to click on here base plate with anchor like this base plate with anchor then click on modify you can see now we have anchor rod 
with the 20 dia profile now I'm going to change here place the nut and washer profile so click on here before star type here nut click on here and user defined fixed click on here and now I'm going to sell the nut m20 hsfg click on apply okay click on modify currently we don't have any nut profile showing in this model to appear in this model we need to click on here nut create default s and wash also click on here and select the s and click on modify to see the result like this now i want to create wash profile so click on here click on here enter before start washer click on filter by default we don't have any washer profiles predefined washer profiles in indian environment so we're going to create the washer profile so remove it and click on filter now we need to select this circular halo section click on here plus symbol and select this circular chs circular halo section and outer dia we're going to create here 40 and the thickness we're going to take here 8 millimeter click on apply ok click on modify to see the result like this now we're going to change the thickness of this washer so let's take here in this option let's take thickness of this washer is the 3 millimeter and click on modify to see the result like this now coming to this anchor profile by default we have straight anchor but we, we need to change this anchor profile so click on here and you can select the anchor different types of anchors are available in this option let's take l bend anchor then click on modify to see the result like this if you wanted to change the total length of the anchor 500 by default we're going to take by default value because we don't have any uh, values in this design so we're going to take by default values 500 millimeter total length of the anchor and uh, projection we have 50 millimeter from top of the base plate to anchor projection and like this if you want to change according to your design information you can change from here total length of the anchor and b breadth of the anchor from these options a is the rounding radius and b is the breadth of this anchor now coming to this spacing between the base plate edge to bolt and bolt between bolt to bolt spacing we're going to change from this option bolt we need to select the bolt size also 20 millimeter as anchor rod 20 millimeter so uh, we're going to take the bolt standard default if you wanted to change according to your design information you can change from these values now coming to the tolerance in our example we have tolerance is three millimeter so we need to change here three millimeter now coming to the spacing you can see the orientation of this column go to the top view like this but in our in this tab we have the orientation like this so we need to uh, verify this these options for length base plate or width base plate for example you can see i section is like this now this is the base plate width and this is the base, base plate length for example here you can see these options for base plate length and these options for base plate width now coming to here in our example in our example we have edge distance here we can see in the base plate width uh, along with the flange width flange side 50 millimeter edge distance from bolt to edge of this base plate 50 millimeter so we need to enter here in the width side you can see this is the flange of the column and this is the edge distance from width side of the base plate so enter here 50 millimeter and here also 50 millimeter now coming to this option this option indicates the number of rows in columns in width side for example in our example you can see we have number of rows here one and two from looking from this side width side so we need to enter here number of rows two rows and spacing between the rows for example you can see spacing between this one and two rows between the spacing is the 100 millimeter so we need to enter here 100 millimeter now coming to length side length side we have edge distance is the 100 millimeter on both sides so we need to enter here 100 millimeter 
we don't have any option at this location at this side of the edge distance so no need to worry about it both are same by default in the design so we can have 100 millimeter and the rows between the two bolts we have the number of rows in the length side you can see with this straight length one and two if we have three you can enter here three for example you can see for example you have three bolts and the spacing is the 75 millimeter then click on what we do see the result you will get three for example let's take here 100 millimeter you will get three bolts you can see in the 3d view you get three anchors like this but in our example we have only two rows so we need to enter here two and the spacing is the 250 millimeter 250 millimeter in the length side length side the spacing between the two bolts we can call it a pitch and in the width side uh, spacing between the two bolts we can call it as a gauge we have pitch distance is a 250 millimeter so we need to enter here 250 millimeter and the spacing between the two rows we have only two and the spacing is a 250 millimeter and number of rows we have two now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have two number of rows in the length side and width side also we have two number of rows like this now click on modify apply ok click on space ready to come out you can see now have base plate like this now i'm going to verify this spacing between the two bolts and base plate, uh, base plate uh, length and width spacing and column height so click on here and select this plan view click on space ready to come out to view use the shortcut shift to 4 for solid view for this base plate component so now I'm going to click on edit and select this measure and select this horizontal distance from edge to bolt. We have 100 millimeter from bolt to bolt. We have 100 millimeter from bolt to bolt to this edge distance. We have 100 millimeter. Now overall total length of this piece is 450 millimeter. Similarly, we're going to click on here and select this vertical distance and click the first point here and click the second point and click on here to place the dimension. Similarly, click the first point and second point and click on here to place the dimension and click the first point and second point to click on here to place the dimension. Now I'm going to check the total width of this base plate. Click on here, first point, second point and click on here. Right, click on mouse interrupt. Now in our example, we have, you can see, 450, 100, 250, 100. 450, 100, 250, 100. Now coming to this width side, we have 200, 50, 150. Now coming to 250, 150. We have the same dimension. These are the checking dimensions. Once you check the dimensions, click on space, ready to come straight away to arrange these dimensions. Now click on window and select this 3D view. Now coming to this total overall length of this column. So click on here and we're going to check the elevation along grid 1. You can see now we have one grid. So click on here and select this view list and select this elevation along grid 1. And click on this arrow to open the elevation view. You can see in the top we have currently we have view three grid along one now we're going to check the dimension here in our example we have total length from bottom of the base plate to top of the column we have 5000 millimeter now we're going to check this dimension so click on measure and set this vertical distance from bottom of this base plate to top of this column click on here to place the dimension 5000 millimeter okay okay that's it about how to create this type of base plate in tecla structures with this pdf example i will provide this pdf example link in the description please download and practice along with this video if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech structure related videos please subscribe my channel then yes youtube channel okay thank you